Welcome to Excel Dynamic Chart Series number three. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Dynamic Chart Series. Hey, and trick number three, we want to see how to use the table feature, Excel 2010 or 7, or list feature in 2003. This feature does not exist before 2003. Now, the great thing about a data set like this is we can convert it to a table and we'll have sorting and filtering built in and dynamic ranges so as we add new transactional data to the bottom it will update. To convert this to a table click in one cell actually a list is control L in 2003, control T uh, in 2007 and 10. Wow it has built in sorting, sorting and filtering and the amazing filters that came in in 2007 also the dynamic range. Let's go ahead and create a chart first. I'm going to click in one cell and control asterisk. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1 which creates the default chart on this sheet. Uh, how about we get rid of that, get rid of these lines right here. I'm going to keep it like that and now let's come over here and filter it. Now as we saw in the last couple videos when we filter it, it hides some rows and then the chart uh, changes and shrinks. So the way to deal with that is click on the edge, go to Format, Size, and down here to this dialog launcher, and then change Properties to Don't Move or Size with Cells. Now let's come over here and just do Top 5. Number filters, Top 10, and I'm going to change it to 5. Now we want to see how to use this dynamically. Oh, but hey, as we saw in the last video also, there's a problem. No problem. You highlight this axis, Control-1, and go to Number, I'm sorry, Axis Options, and right here it says Axis Type Text. Text. All right, uh, now let's add some new transactional data. That means we actually have to um, unfilter this. You can come up here. There's a uh, universal button if you have lots of filters applied uh, right there. Alright, so now let's come to the bottom and this is a table so we click in the last cell. Actually you can just uh, click here, it'll know to add this. This is 12 slash 11 and this was uh, 35,000. And I'm going to hit tab, this is the way I usually do it when you're in the last cell in the bottom corner and it adds a new uh, record. Notice that now this piece of data is there, 12 slash 12, and this was uh, 85,000. Tab, and then we have a uh, 12 slash 13. Notice I'm not putting in the 9 because it knows how to do that, and then this was uh, 62,500. I'm going to control enter. Now if I come up here and do top 5 again, Oops, that's the top 14. I'm just going to type a 5 and then OK. And sure enough, it picked up um, whatever the latest uh, entries were if they meet that criteria. All right, so that is um, uh, the table list features, sorting, filtering. Actually, we can sort this too, right? sort, uh, let's go biggest, and so sorting, filtering, and dynamic range all work. Now later we'll see how to do this um, with formulas and, and some other ways also. Alright, uh, we'll see you next trick.